In this video, I'm gonna build a Slack bot that can take uh, actions for me. I'm gonna upload one picture and one PDF and my bot will automatically extract information from both and store them into a Google Sheet. Let's see a demo. I will use one uh, JPEG. This is a picture of a receipt. It is in Spanish. I'm not from Spain, but I like, uh, I like it. I'm gonna tag my bot. Behind the scenes, my automation will be triggered. And I'm gonna extract all of it, starting with the date of the receipt, total, product name one, product name two, and the prices for each, which is uh, three euros for each empanada. We have one empanada beef and one empanada cheese. Now I'm gonna do the same uh, for an invoice. This time it is uh, a PDF. Also, I will tag the bot so that the automation will be triggered. This invoice has two pages. I'm gonna extract one information from a table from page two and the other value, which is from page one, also in a table. I'm emphasizing this because tables are kind of tricky, but this is just to showcase it works. Behind the scenes to extract information from both files, I'm using optical character recognition, which can uh, help us turn unstructured data to structured data. I'm gonna walk you through you in the second. So we can see we have the two values, invoice number and the value in euros from uh, page two. Let's walk through the implementation. This is how uh, it looks like. I started with a Slack trigger. The Slack trigger brings the information uh, including the file type and if we also send some uh, message together with the attachment. In my case, this execution was for a PDF and we are gonna use one URL generated by Slack to download it in the next node. I am using the private URL to download the file. The goal is to get the binary file. This is uh, needed for optical character recognition. I'm using Mistral to extract the information, uh, in this case from PDF, to markdown format. All these three HTTP nodes, all of them are for Mistral. If you never worked with Mistral, this is their page. They can extract the uh, information from tables, pictures, even math, Hindi, which is kind of tricky. If we have a scanned document, Arabic, this is pretty cool. They have uh, very good benchmarks. If you look at the numbers overall, but even for each and every category, including tables and uh, scanned files, which are the most uh, tricky, uh, they have better numbers compared to the OCR from Google. So yeah, this is kind of impressive. And they uh, support multiple, uh, multiple languages. Because uh, Mistral has an API, I just created uh, one account with them and I used the HTTP nodes in um, NA10 to extract the information from our documents. The first one just uploads my uh, binary file that I just uh, have and I upload it to this endpoint slash file. Second node gets me a signed URL that will enable me to download the file in this case and I will have I will have it in uh, Markdown. This is the Markdown format. The end goal, it is to transform from Markdown to a JSON in order to be able to store it in Google Sheets or any other system. You can store this in QuickBooks, Xero or any other system. To transform it from Markdown to JSON, uh, I'm using Information Extractor. For each field that I want to extract, I need three attributes. I need the name of uh, my key. The key will be uh, the output from the JSON. So how do we want uh, to name this key? In my case, invoice number. 
the type of the value uh, and the description. The description will be for AI. So this might seem redundant having the name and the description, but it's not. The description itself is used for, uh, for the AI to understand what do we want uh, to extract in that particular node. We do the same for all fields. Once we have the JSON, we are able to uh, store it into our Google Sheet. And in here I just mapped uh, what uh, column in my Google Sheet I want to map with each uh, value from the JSON. I just uh, stored two of them for demo purposes. For the other one, which was a picture. The only difference is uh, I have the file type JPEG, but this works for any other uh, file type like PNG or any other uh, image that we want to use. This time uh, the binary will be uh, with file extension uh, JPEG. And I'm doing the same, the same to HTTP node. Upload to, to Mistral to extract our uh, info, get the signed URL, get the markdown format. In this case, we can see the markdown is way smaller, right? Because the input was smaller compared to the other one where we had the markdown into two pages. So this was the previous PDF that I had. And I can see here I have page one in my PDF, right? And page two compared to the PNG, which were which was uh, really small. Yeah, so it's way, uh, way less information. Then with the information extractor, I'm doing the exact same thing, meaning for each field specify three attributes and then store it to Google Sheet. So I have just the date of my receipt, total name of the two products and their price. If you want this exact workflow, you can get it in the first link in the description.